2000 Isuzu NPR. I'm going to show you how I put a lift kit, a dump lift kit on this truck. And that dump lift kit was from, is used for trailers, dump trailers. But it can be used for these trucks too. You gotta do a lot of welding and a lot of cutting and measuring too. Okay, I removed the bed first. When I removed the bed, I measured everything from where I was gonna install this, from where the hinge was gonna be. But I added these angle liners so this frame can be strong. This is the frame from the bed. The frame bed is too thin for this uh, bed uh, to be lifted so that's why I added this uh, it's a 1 8 and I welded it to the hinge I installed the hinge right there I added another angle liner right here so it could be sturdy for the frame I added this cross member for the bed so it could be real sturdy one eighth of a cross member. And the other side. There. There's the other angle liner. There's the hinge. There's the other angle liner on the frame. I added all that when I had the bed moved out and the truck out. That's what I did. Um, then when I put the truck back, set it down, that's when I started welding. <sighs> this is an electric pump, it works great. I bought the A-ton um, hoist, A-ton hoist, so it could be easy for me to pick up the pounds that I'm going to put in, in this truck. Um, then I put these square tubings. On each side for each uh, for the bed so it could be straight this is a 1 8 square tubing there's another one right there and I added this wood this is a piece of fence wood right here but it's the, the treated wood I added that because it was there was some space between it 5 8 so I added that and that also helps when you drop it out down the bed, it's gonna it's, so it can land softly, not metal to metal. I added these so when the bed comes down, just in case it moves to the side a little bit, this will make it go back to the sun, to the, the spot that it's supposed to be. And so the bed won't move back in, uh, side to side. Now this is the hoist. Power Hoist, PremiumSupply.com. I bought this on eBay. Um, it's the PH516. It's an A ton. Um, this one is the A ton, and it was pretty long. Uh, I could have, I could have put it a lot closer, like to like right there, so the bed can lift up more. But this bed lifts up 40 degrees. It's enough for all that. All that trash can go down 40 degrees is not enough um, but I couldn't move it a lot more over here because of the gas tank right there this will hit the gas tank so I added this this will rest on this right here um, if the gas tank wasn't there then yes I can move it more up to be 50 degrees but I couldn't 
I added this cross member. This is 5 8 cross member. These are the hoses. I connected them. I, I had to cut this piece right here for the hoses to give more space. This is the battery, brand new battery, brand new pump, easy to install. You don't, you don't have, there's no, it's real easy to install. This comes with already a, a like, you don't have to connect any wires, you just screw this thing and it, it, it attaches to it. And then, I measured, when I brought the bed down, I made the holes, and then I also put an angle liner too. So they can have more support for the bed frame on this side too. As you can see the angle liner right here. More support to lift. And let's see what else. I'm not done with the view. I'm gonna put something to hold this together. But if there's an angle liner for the bed. There's a hinge. This is a three inch square tubing because the hinge is three inches. So you have to buy a three inch square tubing to weld it so it can really, really be attached to it. I welded these to the cross member that I installed <clears throat> make sure the hoist is right in the middle and I also cut it at a little piece right there because it was hidden right here it hits right there a little bit but it's okay I mean you just have to measure real good and if it hits just cut it I added another piece over here across. It's a day people say for you not to weld on the frame, but I had to. This helps the frame to be more sturdy. This bed is also it's only for maximum six thousand pounds, which when I done jobs, the most that I have put in was five thousand pounds, which it'll lift real easy. This is the remote. This one's gravity. Oh, this is power up, power down. And there it is. That's enough for the trash to go down. If you have any questions, you can leave a message and subscribe. Uh, for me too and like the video too um, see what else can I tell you um, it was it was pretty easy you just gotta have the tools if you don't have the tools you're gonna take a little uh, a while it took me like maybe three days um, just because of the tools too um, the saw broke down I mean, just tools that I needed. If you have everything, all the metal, everything that you're gonna need, you can do it in one day. If you put the efforts, you can do it in one day. But in Texas, the heat doesn't let you work during the day. It's, it was 110 when I was outside. So here it is, five eights, one eight square tubing three inches all the way five eighths five eighths of cross member I wish oh no never mind um, one eight I think this is a five eight angle liner no it's it's probably a half or a quarter 
angle angle liner. I added this so so this can go down more. So the hoist can go down a little bit more. Maybe like I think four inches went down. Um, let me see if I can show you how that works right there.